first of all, I think uh, getting students to reflect on how little accuracy matters in their, their first language so that they don't get hung up on, on uh, uh, grammar points and needing to speak perfectly, but uh, being uh, willing to negotiate, negotiate meaning and getting practice at uh, uh, just going for communication or getting the meaning across and being satisfied with that. Uh, so in, in our class, in the discussion course, um, we uh, have a lot of opportunities for breakdowns of communication and I think that, that uh, helps give them some strategies, uh, for example, giving examples and uh, uh, trying, uh, in other words, paraphrasing, in other words. Uh, so I think focusing on these communication skills rather than uh, language points are the good ways. From my point of view as a trainer or as a teacher, my, my view of, of politeness or of clear communication might be the direct opposite to my students. Um, equally so, my students' view of these things might be completely opposite to the person that they are communicating with. Um, there's a concept known as the illusion of transparency, where we believe that we are being clear communicators and transparent. Um, in some cases we are, in many cases we're not. So I would say the, the biggest thing that we can do to help our learners to become more successful communicators is to be aware of the risk of assumption that they themselves make about how successful their communication is, going outwards on one hand, and when they're receiving input or language or communication from others, is to be aware of the risks that they are assuming that they have understood what the other person has meant. So what that really means in practical terms is when people are communicating to you, clarify your understanding more about what you think you meant or about what, what, what you think they meant. And when you are communicating outwards, um, be aware of the risk of misunderstanding that other people may have in the words that you choose to use and clarify that you are being understood in the way in which you mean it. Uh, to me, personal pronunciation is really important. Um, so that's why I try to teach pronunciation and I usually fail. <laughs> um, and uh, Why do you think that is? It's important because when I came to Japan, my um, Japanese was like zero. And I couldn't understand their English, unfortunately. Now I understand when they pronounce learning as running, and running as running. <laughs> uh, I know the context and then I can guess, but um, like months ago, I couldn't. So that's why to me it's really important. Um, at least they should know why uh, people don't understand their English. And then they can practice. Uh, uh, I do believe that they can work on that um, and then they can improve.